we made a recommendation to to heads of states that um, the conditions are not conducive for trading to start uh, on the 1st of July, as was intended, um, because first, governments across the African continent uh, have got to be given the space to save lives, to fight the pandemic. Trade ministers who otherwise would have been engaged in preparing for uh, trading on the 1st of July, these trade ministers correctly, sensibly, are now focusing on how to provide relief packages for uh, small medium enterprises in their countries. So I think it's very important that we allow governments the space uh, to focus on saving lives and saving livelihoods in the process. Second, 42 countries in Africa uh, have in place either uh, full or partial lockdowns. And so it would not be possible to uh, um, to say with credibility that we are trading on the 1st of July. And third, of course, uh, the, the technical work on rules of origin uh, was not concluded. The month of March and April, um, uh, uh, those meetings that were supposed to happen in that period had to be canceled because of COVID-19. And so we have said, uh, we have recommended for these reasons to the heads of states that uh, we should consider postponing the, um, the trading date to a date which the heads of states, of course, um, uh, it is their prerogative to, to decide on. We have also recommended that the summit on the AFCFTA, which was scheduled to happen in, in, uh, in South Africa on the 30th of May, we have recommended that that summit uh, be postponed again to a later date that um, that the Assembly of Heads of States itself will decide when is the appropriate time. We are in, in as Africa, uh, and certainly as the Secretariat, um, we are in, in uncharted territory. Um, we had uh, uh, intended that by now, we would be advanced in terms of uh, implementation of the agreement and the institutions uh, that yeah. um, we are required to establish pursuant to, to their agreement, but we have to adjust uh, to the conditions. And I think what is also very important to note is that unlike other countries, uh, particularly developed countries, of course, we uh, in Africa do not have the monetary policy space, the fiscal policy space to provide significant economic relief packages Africa does not have uh, 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 those tools. And so for us, really the only tool available at our disposal, the only economic relief package is the African continental free trade area, implementing it in such a way that we significantly boost intra-Africa trade from the 18% where it stands to, to higher uh, uh, percentages and that we, we boost intra-Africa trade uh, across um, sectors, whether it is trade in services or trade in goods. This is really the only way that we can ensure that we have a, a stimulus package uh, for Africa year on year to drive uh, economic growth and to get Africa back on track in terms of the 4% uh, growth that was projected um, by the African Development Bank uh, um, uh, early in the year before COVID-19.